Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm on the Cornish coastline, just having a bit of a walk along the coastal path and on the beach, just enjoying it before I uh, look for a spot to uh, camp. Um, I'm at Bedroof and Beach and Steps here at the moment. I think I'm going to drive a little bit further down the coast, check out some waterfalls and uh, look for a nice spot for the night. Although, I reckon on this peninsula up here would have been a good one. So if I can't find anything further down, I may drive back up here and uh, walk out to that peninsula. I couldn't leave that too late. Absolutely beautiful weather. Not too hot, but still pretty sunny. And a beautiful place, one of my favorite. Now I'm gonna get moving, carry on with the walk because this is terrifying. <laughs> Driven down the coast a bit and I've come to St Nectan's Falls. Got a long stream of waterfalls behind me here. I'm working my way up in the valley here. Um, I think there's a bigger waterfall up there, so I'm gonna head on and have a look at that and check out some potential camp spots. My guess is this is the ruin of uh, an old water mill. I'll have to look into it a bit further, but it's beautiful. Right on the falls here. It's actually a really nice walk. Glad I uh, made the effort to drive down to here. Now that's what you call a view. That was a worthwhile walk indeed. All the way out to sea. Fantastic. Definitely going to come back here. Definitely a few spots you could camp in up here as well. This is worth a return visit. Oh crap. That's a lot of steps. 
We're closing in on St Nectan's Fall. That's the big one. So I'm just following this stream up uphill and uh, hopefully we'll get to see it. Come straight from the uh, the waterfalls, and uh, I'm on the coastal path now. So just walk down and along, and uh, as you can see, I'm right by the sea. And uh, I'm going to take this path behind me and try and find a spot right on the cliff top, overlooking the uh, sea. And uh, it's going to be quite near a coastal path, but uh, I've got phew, hour hour and a half of daylight left, so I shouldn't think there's anyone around. Should be able to find somewhere kind of suitable and uh, get the tent up for the night. So I'm going to make my way down. Hopefully I'm in focus. <laughs> I just made my way all the way down this uh, cliff and that was quite hard work. And um, it's not quite as flat as it looked down here. <laughs> it's very lumpy and it's on an angle. So I think I'm gonna have to make the best of a bad situation because I'm not getting back up there and along, not in any good time before uh, it gets dark anyway. And I'm not looking forward to getting up there in the morning, but I'm in no rush. Well, I found this lovely kind of bay down here there's a little beach that looks well yeah it's completely inaccessible and uh, some rock faces on the seafront and uh, it's beautiful I just think I'm gonna have a job sleeping tonight on this angle we'll see we'll see what I can do <laughs> Here you can see the angle that I'm at. So I'm going to have to find just a little spot of it that's uh, not too bad or has like a tiny flat spot and put the tent around it. It is a, a beautiful, beautiful spot though. I think this is the spot I'm going to go with. I think it's as good as it's gonna get.
Right, I've got it. There's a tiny ledge here, and a bit of like a gully, so that will at least be somewhere flat to sleep, I think. So I'm just going to put the tent here, right on the edge. Don't worry, I'm not going to put the door facing the ocean. <laughs> so just going with the hex peak again. I'll get that up. I've fettled and I've fettled until I can't fettle no more. This is as good as it's going to get. This ground is so bumpy. Um, door facing this way. As you can see, a nice lump there. I think I've got a bit of space for a lay down. <laughs> I'm right up against the edge over here. But I can overlook this bay. There's somewhere to sit. I don't know how the ground sheet's going in. <laughs> it may not look it, but this is actually, once you're down on it, because of all the grass tufts and that, quite flat. I've not put the inner in properly, I've just laid it down because there's no way it's gonna go right. <laughs> But, um, yeah, that's actually a lot better than I thought it would be. I've put the head end, the end I think is slightly, ever so slightly higher, but we'll see, I can change it if I need to in the night. But um, I think I'm looking all right here. I gave in in the end. I hooked up the uh, inner, just to keep the grass tufts and stuff from getting, you know, in my face at night and that. I'm just going to be using the OEX, the OEX Evolution Fathom EV300. Uh, it's a free season bag. This is the one I took to Sweden with me. So got down to minus four with some extra clothing on. So, you know, it's a, a warm late summer day. What is it now? Mid-September. Beautiful, beautiful time down here in the West Country. And uh, definitely don't lose this. I've got my Firmarest pillow stuff sack as well. Um, if you don't know about these, they're absolutely brilliant. They're kind of um, fleecy on the inside. Um, normal kind of dry bag on the outside. Just stuff your kind of spare socks. Um, if you wear kind of... Uh, thermals at night or whatever, put them in there, swap it over with your day clothes and you've got a nice comfy pillow. I hate the inflatables. And this was kind of a complete uh, game changer for me. Right. Pretty much set up. Have a chill. Think about dinner. Maybe have a beer. Would watch the sun go down but it's back there. Uh, I need to check my kind of orientation. I don't know if we'll uh, get a sunrise. Very tempted to do some uh, rock hopping down there, but I don't think I'm going to get down there. <laughs> Not safely anyway. In case you're wondering, it is quite a long way down. And there's the tent. Just sitting having a chill now. Enjoying the view, the sounds. Got a bit of a haze in the sky, a bit of a pink haze. So I don't think we'll get much more than that. I think east is kind of behind the camera there. So, uh, 
Yeah. Might get a bit of a sunrise. I'll have to set the alarm. <laughs> Got a wayfarer, uh, chili con carne and rice for dinner. I did bring some um, some instant mashed potato as well, the Idahoan ones, but uh, I left it in the truck. <laughs> so I've got this, and um, I've got another wayfarer for breakfast as well. Dinner was uh, very much appreciated. I've done a hell of a lot of walking today. Coastal paths, up and down steps, to the waterfall, which is longer than I thought, <laughs> along that rocky uh, way. Lots of walking, I'll sleep well tonight. Well, we'll see. <laughs> the uh, oil in the bag was all right. Just about enough, I think. I've got a Twix with me, so that should help. It's uh, proper dark now. Stars are out, nice and clear. I've only got me um, micro fleece on, so not super cold or anything. So yeah, very nice indeed. Might chill out for a bit, read a book, maybe have a beer, and uh, I will be having an early night. I think it's a bit past eight now. We'll have an early night because uh, I want to get up and get the uh, sunrise to share with you guys. <laughs> Been a lovely evening, just uh, sitting in the doorway of the tent, using it as a bit of a wind block, staring up at the uh, stars, the millions, see everything, whole Milky Way. I may have even seen the ISS go past, it's like a little dot going across the skyline, can't be sure. Listening to the uh, waves crashing, very nice indeed. I'm. Uh, just going to settle down now. Quite tired. Didn't have a beer or anything, just a uh, hot chocolate. So I think that's it for filming for tonight. And uh, if any luck, be greeted with a nice sunrise in the morning. So good night for now.
Oh, that's hot. <laughs> Got up early this morning and caught the sunrise. It wasn't uh, the deepest of reds, but it was it was nice to see. Uh, sun is full up now over the uh, the hills over there. I've already um, packed away everything inside the tent. I like to do that before I get out to save you going back in with boots on and stuff. Got me uh, beans and sausages. All heated up on the jet boil knockoff thing <laughs> and a cup of tea with the water I used. So this should get me sorted for the, uh, the hike back to the truck. Slept pretty well last night. Managed to get certain things out of my pack and put them under the um, thermo rest to try and get it more or less flat. I think it pretty much worked. I slept pretty well. Woke up a couple of times and that, but it was a good sleep. I think I got pretty much eight hours. That brings me to the end of this camp and this little trip into the West Country. Really enjoyed it. Nice uh, stop over in a little woodland in Devon, a little coastal in Cornwall. Very nice indeed and I can't wait to come back. So thanks you guys for watching. Hopefully uh, I'll have some more videos very soon. There's a bit of a break that one so <laughs> I won't leave it so long this time. I doubt I'm going to film any of the uh, walk back, especially this bit. So uh, I'll say goodbye now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>